the Raspberry Pi got a lot of people that are interested in what you can do with a small Linux computer. And I've seen all sorts of applications from being used as a mobile phone, to controlling thermostat in the house, to robotics, and even meshing them together to, to form a larger powered computer. Wow, it seems there's a variety of applications for what you can do with a Pi. But if ever there was anything limiting with the old one, it was only a 700 MHz single core processor. Well now there's a Raspberry Pi B Model 2 that is significantly uprated. It is a quad core 900 MHz with 1 GB of RAM. And I bought this one from the Pi Hut for £32. I also bought a case from eBay, it's just a generic plastic case, which I paid £7 for. So let's take a look at them. Well it is quite remarkable when you consider you're getting what they say is a six times improvement on the speed. And yet you pay the same price and it's about the same power usage. Huh. I don't think many Intel computers could boast the same improvement on the specs for a generation change. Got there in the end. Right. So here it is in exactly the same size as it was before. So let's take a look what we have on here. So I've got four USB ports, four USB 2 ports, a 10 100 meg Ethernet. Shame it's not gigabit, I would have liked to have seen that. GPIO bus is significantly larger than it was before. Here's an old Model B Pi, first generation Pi. See the size difference? Just a little bit. And there is a, I think it's a touch screen output. Underneath, micro SD port for the operating system. On the side there, we've got the power, HDMI, camera port, headphone output, and nothing else underneath. So, and that is it. I have read about people being able to copy the old SD card from their old Pi and putting it onto a micro SD and running it in a new Pi. That seems to be able to work. Not guaranteed to work every time, but should do. Linux doesn't need a reinstall of drivers. If the drivers are in the kernel, and then it'll work. As for the case that I've got, here is what seven pounds of plastic gets you. Oh, it's even got the Pi logo on it. Yeah. In the box. And yes, it's got the Pi logo cut out of the case as well. Ooh, a bit shiny and glossy. Wow. Vented underneath, and on the side, yep, there's the access to the different ports. Got the four USB ports, and that just flips open. So, wonder how that goes in. If ever you were puzzled about what the inputs and outputs were, as she says on this case, I'll have a play with it all later. I'm not really sure what I'm doing with it yet. Might become a torrenter again, running Linux torrents. My old one has uh, <laughs> wasted a hell of a lot of bandwidth. I'll try out what Cody, I'll see what Cody looks like. That'd be quite interesting to see. Um, might be interesting to see what RetroPie does as well with the old gaming emulator. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.